Celtic Myths and Legends by T. W. Rolleston, Chapter Eight: Myths and Tales of the Kymri. The character of Welsh romance. Here, let us pause for a moment to point out how clearly we are in the region of medieval romance, and how far from that land of Celtic mythology, perhaps the Celtic land of youth, may have remotely suggested those regions of beauty and mystery into which the Arthurian knight rides in a quest of adventure. But the scenery, the motives, the incidences, uh, the incidents are altogether different, and how beautiful they are, how steeped in the magic light of romance, the colors live and glow, the forest murmurs in our ears. The breath of that springtime of our modern world is about us as we follow the lonely rider down the grassy track into an unknown world of peril and delight, while in some respects the continental tales are greater than the Welsh, though more thoughtful, more, provo more profound, they do not approach them in the exquisite artistry with which the exterior aspect of things is rendered, the atmosphere ever quickening, with ever quickening interest from point to point in the development of the tale, nor are these Welsh tales a whit behind in the noble and chivalrous spirit which breathes through them a finer school of character out of manners could hardly be found in literature. How strange that for many centuries this treasure, beyond all price, should have lain unnoticed in our midst, and how deep must be our gratitude to the nameless bards whose thought created it, and to the nobly inspired hand which first made it a possession for all the English-speaking world.